determine h parameters and y parameters this is the given circuit for this circuit we supposed to calculate hybrid parameters and admittance parameters that is y parameter so first i will calculate y parameters then i will calculate h parameter so this is the given circuit let me assume this terminal is positive this is negative let this be positive negative we will assume i1 is input current let i2 is output current let v1 is input voltage at these two terminal and v2 is output voltage at these two terminal so first let's calculate y parameters the y parameters are defined as i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 i2 is equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 let me call it as equation 1 this as let me call it as equation a this as equation b so these are the equations of y parameters so i will solve this using node analysis here i can assume that here we have one node here we have one node so here this node is connected to v2 therefore voltage at this node is directly v2 here let me assume voltage at this node is vx so i will solve this using node analysis let current through this branch is say x let current through this branch is y let current through this branch is z so now let me apply kcl to node vx that is apply kcl to node vx So I can write incoming current is equal to outgoing current that is I1 is equal to x plus y or I can write I1 is equal to x is nothing but Vx divided by 2 that is Vx divided by 2 plus y is nothing but Vx minus V2 divided by 2 Vx minus V2 divided by 2. So let me simplify this that is I1 is equal to here we have Vx by 2 plus vx by 2 minus v2 by 2 or i can write or i can write i1 is equal to vx by 2 plus vx by 2 is vx minus this is 0 0.5 v2 so let me call it as equation 1 here from this circuit i can write i1 will be equal to v1 minus vx divided by 1 that is v1 minus vx divided by 1 which is nothing but v1 minus vx or i can write vx is equal to v1 minus i1 v1 minus i1 so now let, let me substitute this vx value in this expression that is let me substitute vx value that is nothing but v1 minus i1 in equation 1 so i can write i1 is equal to we have vx vx is nothing but v1 minus i1 that is v1 minus i1 plus minus 0 0.5 v2 minus 0 0.5 v2 or i can write i will take i1 on this side it will become 2 i1 is equal to v1 minus 0 0.5 v2 or i can write i1 is equal to v1 by 2 minus 0 0.5 v2 by 2 or i can write i1 is equal to 1 by 2 is 0 0.5 v1 minus 0 0.25 v2 let me call it as equation 2 so now compare equation 2 with equation a so if i compare with equation a here coefficient of v1 is y11 so here coefficient of v1 is 0 0.5 it means y11 is equal to 0 0.5 more as admittance so unit of admittance is more similarly here coefficient of v2 is y12 so here coefficient of v2 is minus 0 0.25 that is y12 is equal to minus 0 0.25 
two phi more. So thus we found two parameters. So now similarly, now let me apply KCL to node V two. That is apply KCL to node V two. So here incoming current is Y plus I two divided by. So here Y and I two are incoming current. Z is outgoing. That is Y plus I two is equal to Z. Or I can write I two is equal to Z minus Y. Or I can write I two is equal to Z is nothing but V two divided by four. That is V two by four minus. So we have Y. Y is nothing but V X minus V two divided by two. V X minus V two divided by two. Let me simplify. I two is equal to V two by four. Minus v x by two plus v two by two, or I can write i two is equal to v two by four plus v two by two. That is nothing but one by four plus one by two is zero point seven five v two minus zero point five v x. So already we have found the value of v x. That is v one minus i one. Let me substitute v x is equal to v one minus i one. In this expression, so I can write I two is equal to zero point seven five V two minus zero point five. We have V X is nothing but V one minus I one. That is V one minus I one. So let me simplify this. Therefore, I can write I two is equal to. So this is zero point seven five V two. Zero point seven five V two. We have minus zero point five v one. Then we have plus zero point five i one, plus zero point five i one. So let me simplify this. That is i two is equal to. So I'll write this term. So i two is equal to zero point seven five v two minus. 0.5 v1 plus so here we can observe that in equation b we have i2 is equal to variables are i2 v1 and v2 but here we have the variables i2 v2 and v1 and one more variable is i1 so we should try to replace this i1 so now in place of i1 i will substitute equation number 2 that is i1 is equal to 0.5 v1 minus 0.25 v2 Let me substitute this equation two, that is I one value in this, that is zero point five. So I one is we have zero point five v one, zero point five v one minus zero point two five v two minus zero point two five v two. Let me simplify. I two is equal to zero point seven five v two minus zero point five v one plus 0.25 v1 minus 0.125 v2, or I can write i2 is equal to minus 0.5. So here, minus 0.5 v1 plus 0.25 v1. So it will be minus zero point two five v one. So here we have point seven five minus point one two five. It gives plus zero point six two five v two. So let me call it as equation three. So now let me compare. That is compare. Equation three with equation B. So in equation B, coefficient of v one is y two one. So that I can write y two one is equal to minus zero point two five more. And we have y two two is equal to that is coefficient of v two is zero point six two five more.
so therefore i can write y is equal to we have y11 y12 y21 y22 and corresponding values are so y11 is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25 y21 is minus 0 0.25 and y22 is 0 0.625 so all are unit is move so these these are the y parameters of the given circuit so now let's calculate h parameters h parameters are calculated as follows so here we can directly find h parameters by using interrelationship formula that is h parameters are nothing but we have h11 h12 h21 h22 so this is nothing but the h11 can be represented in terms of y parameter as 1 over y11 h12 is nothing but minus y12 by y11 h21 is nothing but y21 divided by y11 and we have h22 is nothing but delta y divided by y11 so let me simplify this that is here y11 1 upon y11 here y11 is 0 0.5 so 1 upon 0 0.5 is we have 2 so minus y12 by y11 here y12 is minus 0.25 divided by y11 so minus 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.5 into minus it gives 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 then y21 by y11 is nothing but minus 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.5 it gives minus 1 by 2 then delta y divided by y11 delta so here delta y is nothing but determinant of this that is delta y is equal to 0 0.5 into 0 0.625 minus we have this into this that is 0.25 into 0 0.25 so delta y gives so it gives 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.5 so it gives 0 0.5 that is 1 by 2 so these are the h parameters thus we calculated y parameters and h parameters for the given circuit thank you for watching